Hi, welcome. Gino Pettis Adventures. And I'm still Gino. If it's your first time, hit the subscribe button, the like, hit the notification bell, send you more of these, and tell a friend. Because tonight I'm going to be talking about yet another thing that's going on in the United States. Uh, people getting squeezed out of their rental homes due to high prices. <clears throat> and I watched a few things on that today and I did some research and it's pretty heinous. It ain't going to get any better. Uh, <clears throat> give you an example. And this is, these are government numbers. You got to believe these are, these are government numbers. So you could probably add <laughs> double them maybe. I don't know. I mean, if you take rent from $2,300 to $3,800, I don't know what that percentage is, but it's damn near a uh, 100% increase. So over the last two years, this is what the government's telling me, that in Las Vegas, Nevada, rent increased 35%. Phoenix, Arizona, 29%. New Orleans, 34%. Jacksonville, Florida, 30%. Richmond, 30%, Orlando, 35%. Think that's bad? Check this out. Memphis, Tennessee, 42%. Tampa, Florida, 46%. Riverside, 48%. And top in the list, then Miami at 58% increase in the rent. I guess I'm really struggling with both sides of this because I like to be fair and unbiased and sometimes that's hard for an old guy because we have a lot of bias. But uh, that being said, if you were, and, and, I'll, and I said it earlier, if you are living from paycheck to paycheck and you're making $3,000 a month, there are people in the United States living on a lot less than that. Why are you still there? Why don't you move? I mean, if you've got $3,000 rent money for this month, I mean, $3,000, if your car's paid for, is a pretty good bail money, I would imagine. Bail money by meaning bail out and get out of town. So here's, here's the point I want to make. And I don't know. I really want to help you guys. I really want to help you guys. I have a... Four bedroom, three bath house, two stories in a gated community for $225 a month, not $4,000 a month. I mean, do you think you could come down here on your $3,000 social security and pension and I'm all in every month for 750 bucks? And if you're making three grand, you could probably save 2000. I didn't realize that it was getting as bad as it is. And I didn't realize that the craziness that's going on, for example, with the, with the mobile home parks, but which, I mean, they make a big deal. They make a big deal out of it. And it is a big deal, but only 6% of America lives in mobile homes. But those guys get messed with all the time. You own the home. You don't own the property. The landlord can do as he wishes with your rent. Do as he wishes. And even evict you for having too old a mobile home. There are instances where they sell the person in the mobile home, the mobile home on a, uh, on a purchase contract, and then a year or two later, evict them because the mobile home's too old for the mobile home park. Go figure. Go for it. So I really don't know what to do other than try to impress on you guys to share this video. If you know somebody that's hurting because of the rent or hurting because of inflation, we talked about that yesterday. It's not all inflation. This this stuff started a long time ago. My my move to Colombia was not predicated on inflation. It was predicated on bad decisions. And I didn't have a lot of social security coming in. And <clears throat> I didn't want to go to work at Walmart. 
Furthermore, I won't go to work at Walmart. Uh, but God bless those people that do work at Walmart. Anyway, so here's the deal. In, in the description below, you will see my contact information. And if you call me, I charge a small fee, and I'm not trying to sell something here. I just, it's, it's just, it's, trust me, it's minuscule. To help people get out of town and come to Columbia and, and live, whether they're old or young or in between, or they're a family or they're a couple, or it's an old guy or it's an old young lady, I will be glad to help. I will be glad to help. And if you know somebody like that, have them watch some of my videos. If you know somebody that, have them get in touch with Gino. My gosh, I didn't I I have a wealth of information on how to live in another country for 750 bucks a month. And I wish I could figure out how to do that in the United States because I would be on the news every night getting you to come over to where to where I have where you could rent so it's not going to get any better well that's not true it might because if the ha if there is another housing bubble which there is depending on which wins deflation or inflation if the whole housing market blows up and then nobody's got any money to buy the houses the prices will Tank. They will go down, and then so will the rent. So will everything. The problem is, that's not going to happen this weekend. That's not going to happen 30 days from now. If you get an eviction notice today, the market is not going to adjust by the time you're standing on the street. But I will guarantee you, with a 30-day head start, we can find you a place to live here. We can, we, we can get a leg up on your permanent visa, and you can still live here for six months on a non-permanent visa. What, were, what if you were making $4,000 a month, and you came down here and lived on $1,000 a month, in six months, six times three, hmm, that's $18,000. Could you use $18,000? You could save $18,000. Or if you're making half of that, you can make you could save $9,000. So my whole point is, guys and gals, I'm just trying to help here. I helped myself. I bailed. Uh, I had the fortune of meeting a wonderful Col Colombian lady and marrying her and moving to Colombia. But since I have moved here, I have gained a wealth of information on how this drill works. A wealth of information on health insurance, on transportation, on buying cars, on renting houses, on buying houses, on renting, on buying groceries, on buying clothes, on buying just about anything you want to buy. Beautiful part too. The, the the vegetables are organic because people doesn't have enough money to to waste petro dollars on them. I don't know. I just had to throw that one in. So, if you have a friend, or yourself, or an uncle, or a grandpa, or a grandma, or some friends that are really struggling that might want to look at something alternative, turn them onto these videos. And turn them on in every one of my descriptions of my contact information. Have them call me, have them text me, have them email me, it's all there. And I answer every, or, or, or drop a comment, drop a comment in the, in, the, in the comment section. I answer all my comments. And I'm going to until I'm so overwhelmed I can't do it. So, Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. And if nothing changes, nothing changes. 
because it sure doesn't appear to me that any of the leaders in our fair country are stepping up to help. Look around, they're not. They're a bunch of idiots. I am, I am almost ashamed of how America is today. I love her, and God bless her, she's bleeding. But this too will change. And I pray to, pray to God that it will come back to the United States that I grew up in. So that being said, nothing changes, nothing changes. We'll see you on the flip side.